growing up in the South with all the humidity and the snakes and the heat, I have never been quite sure about this whole idea of nature study. It wasn't until I met my guest today that I saw just how beneficial it could be for me and my kids. Hi, I'm Pam Barnhill, and I have helped thousands of homeschoolers create doable systems, beat burnout, and bring more joy to their homeschool days. Welcome to episode 25 of the 10 Minutes to a Better Homeschool podcast. Well, on today's episode of the podcast, I'm joined by my very good friend, Cindy West. Cindy and I have been friends for a number of years, and she's talking all about one of her passions, which is how to make nature study the heart of your science curriculum, especially for elementary students, but even she has some tips for older students as well. So let's get right on with this interview. Cindy West is a homeschool mom of three who has a passion for teaching, and she has more than 20 years of experience under her belt. She writes about creative homeschooling on her blog, Our Journey Westward, and she is the author of a few books, including her Nature Explorer series. She also teaches nature-based science classes in the No Sweat Nature Study membership, and she is also the host of the new no sweat nature study podcast welcome to podcasting cindy and welcome to this podcast (laughs) yeah i'm so glad to be with you thanks for having me oh love love having you on so if if you guys don't know cindy is a really good friend of mine and uh, we do a lot of things together so it's always lovely to have her joined us okay so we're going to dive right in what exactly is nature study and how is it different than a formal science curriculum Oh, that's a great question. So I say that nature study is science. When you think of a formal nature study curriculum, you tend to think of a textbook, maybe something along the lines of a thematic study of um, the human body or chemistry or physical science or something like that. Nature study actually covers biologies which would be plants and animals and all the different other kingdoms of things that don't fit under plants and animals, as well as earth and space science. So your water, your rocks, your stars, moon, all of that good stuff. And um, I like to say that nature study is your science lab. So hands-on way to really learn all of those biologies and earth and space sciences. We have used it as our formal science for years and years and years. We have also used it as additions to formal sciences. So depending on someone's uh, homeschool style, nature study can be just a fabulous way to get out of the house and breathe some fresh air and have the bonus of learning some scientific things, or it can go all the way as far as being what you use as science curriculum. 